So as you guys know, it is now the end of the river season. We're gonna have to be fishing local canals and trying and hoping for the best, obviously. In my opinion, the best fish are in the rivers, but we're not able to fish them at the minute. The UK has many great canals to fish, however. A lot of them murky, coloured, but fortunately for me, my local canal is usually in pretty good condition. So today we're on the light setup, trying for pike, perch, anything that bites on a Texas rig. The weather's a bit gloomy, but I have high hopes that we're going to manage to get a couple fish out and end a blanking streak that I've had for a couple of weeks now. allow them to still see it when it's chocolate like this with no visibility. Do tend to get a few tracks up this way as well. There we go. There we go. What's this? What's this then? Feels alright, whatever it is. I hope it's a big perch. Oh. I'm twisting my back the wrong way. I think it's a pike. Yeah. Pretty sure that's a pike. A little scrapper. Yeah, it's not a bad one. Oh, it's got quite a bad foot on it actually. He's really pulling. Thought. First, this would be a big, um, big perch, but I'm just going to let him run a bit because I need to get him with you. Yeah, wet feet, but don't mind. So much fun when you catch the big pike like this on the light gear. So much fun. bit more drag to run. You can see. Thank you. It's got a big like mark on his back. I don't know. I know. I was hoping it was going to be a perch, but no. <laughs> Pike. I just don't want to come in. I didn't think I'd be able to catch anything with it being so murky. I think it helps <laughs> because it, it yeah. looks like it. <laughs> Pardon? No. <laughs> no, have you seen the colour of the water? <laughs> Thank you. He's not that big, he just looks bigger than he is. Uh -huh. What strength have you got on the uh, line? Yeah. What strength has it got on the line? Um. I think about 10 pounds, not very strong at all to be honest. Oh. It's my really light setup, so. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? 
Here it, it is. Like a pike or something, it? Yeah, it's a pike, but. Definitely a pike. Thing is, if I pull him in too quickly, it'll just snap me off. So I just have to sit like this. There's another bloke up there that's just had one, I think. Yeah, he has. I didn't realise they'd be feeding so much in this colour. It definitely looks like he's just sad from the back. Yeah, something's happened, unless it's a cormorant or... I don't know. Yeah, but he's actually a decent size for in here. They're usually tiny. <laughs> yeah, he's in. There we go. Give him a good rest now, after that long fight. Quite a quite skinny little guy. Not as big as I thought he was going to be, but a lovely fish. Um, he has got quite a bad gouge on his back, um, which I'll show you guys. But I'm going to get him rested because he's had a long fight. So my net has actually gone in the process of having this fish out but as you can see he's pretty much ready to go anywhere I'm not going to be able to get the best release just because the net is broken but I'm just going to get him back nice and quickly it was great to see some action pretty much straight away on that day unfortunately after fishing for another few hours I was yet to have another bite so over the next few days, I came back daily, trying the same technique, Texas rigging, for those perch, for those pike, and I had nothing until finally I gave it my last try and managed out a fish. And also in the process, I got to look at some beautiful artwork that's just been done under the bridge. Alright, we're back down the other side. At least I can show you the artwork. Here it is. So this side's a swan. Yeah, it's really beautiful. Again, just down this edge, I'm going to work it round back. And back this way. Just really wanted to cover this bit. Because usually it does produce fish, but it looks like we had that one chance and... It's just not coming back. There will be other fish here, but I reckon they're quite small, the perch here. Usually I do quite well on the drop shot. There we go. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. A few tries. That's what it's all about. It's a pike. It's a tiny thing. It's a tiny, tiny, tiny thing. That's why you just try and try and try until you finally get the result that you're after. 
like that, even though he's only little, still going to be a beautiful fish in beautiful condition. Didn't really give me much of a fight, even though we are on the light setup, but. Right, there he is. Little scrapper. Nice little nibble, and it just shows you keep going over the same bit. They are there. Just if they, if they want to eat, they'll just get him in the net. There he is. He's absolutely tiny. He's tiny, tiny, tiny. But that's bit of hard work fishing the same bit over and over ending in a nice result of a little jack even though it was a perch that I wanted but yeah, you can't escape them when you don't want them there we go I'm not going to sit down and get a picture because he's only a little guy but absolutely beautiful condition not a mark on him that was on on the craw, mullet's craw, they're getting back in the water now, but yeah, an absolutely beautiful fish, beautiful. It's nice to see them in such good condition, but yeah, I'm not going <laughs> to get the, the other camera out just because he's only a little baby. Um, just, just sat with him here resting him. He'll be ready to go pretty much straight away. And off he goes, back into the depths. That's what we came out for. Well, not really, we came out for a perch, but <laughs> it's a fish, so yeah, great to see. So this ends my session. And after a few tries of going out and blanking, I managed them two jacks, which I was quite happy with despite going for perch. If you did like the video, make sure to comment, subscribe and like. I do read all the comments, so it's great looking through them. I hope you enjoyed the video. There'll be another one coming very soon.